Hello, hello! Today we're gonna make a fake gingerbread house. So I'm gonna use this set right here I got on Amazon and I'll link to this in the description for you. It has all the parts even to cut out windows and doors and things if you want to do that. And then it also has some like trees and reindeer and snowman. This is for the two ends where like the door would be. And then this is for the sides and this is for the roof. So I'm gonna need two of each of those pieces. So I'm gonna use foam clay to make this. And mine is the play code three one. And I'll have a discount code and a link in the materials list if you wanna check it out. So condition your clay. So I'm gonna use an ink pen on each side to get the right thickness. I want the whole, the whole house to have the same thickness. So I am using my pens as that guide. So I'm just gonna roll until my rolling pin touches both of the pens. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the pieces. So when you use the cookie cutters, pull your foam clay away from the cookie cutter before you pull it up. Otherwise, you'll pull it up and this clay will stick to what's inside of the cookie cutter. Once you've got all your pieces cut out, then just let those dry overnight so that this will all be nice and sturdy to put together. All right, so I've got all my little gingerbread pieces and they're dry. They're actually not dry on the backside, but the it's dry enough for me to be able to do something with here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is um, assemble the house. And then after that, I will um, paint it. I thought I might paint it first, but I think it'll be easier to just get it all put together and then paint it after. So I'm gonna put aside the roof pieces because we'll do those last. So I have my two end pieces and my two side pieces here. So sometimes hot glue doesn't hold on this foam clay. So I'm gonna do a double a uh, double glue on this. So I'm gonna use this foam and poster board adhesive that I got at Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna put that down. As like extra insurance. And then I'm gonna take my hot glue and just put a strip behind there. This way I don't have to sit here and hold this forever just until the hot glue gets dry. And I, I know it's not gonna fall apart on me because the poster board adhesive. Okay, now we just need to put the roof on. And just make sure that the top meets where the pointy okay so normally for my gingerbread color I use territorial beige which I have here but I don't think I have enough to get across this whole house so I'm gonna try fixing up another little concoction so if you have territorial beige, just use that. If you don't, then I'm gonna try light mocha and melted chocolate together and see if I get the right color. I think we're getting close to the right color, but I think it needs a little bit of orange in it. Just a touch. Just to kind of brighten it up a little. 
So now I'm just gonna paint the whole house. Okay, so I'm going to let this paint dry and work on the board that this is going to sit on. So I've just cut a foam piece of foam board here. Uh, you could use a cake board if you have one of those or whatever you have on hand. So for the board, I'm going to put some what looks like icing, I guess, so that it looks like snowy. So I'm just going to put some Dollar Tree caulk into container. You could also do this with spackling if you want. And then I'm going to add some white apple barrel paint and some gloss Mod Podge. And then just stir that around really well. And then I'm just going to spread this onto my foam board. So this will look like snow. And I'm not going to worry about putting too much where the house is going to be sitting because that part's not going to show anyway so you know save yourself some product and put it on the parts where it's going to show and now my house isn't completely dry but it's good enough i can touch it up if i mess it up so i'm just going to take my house and Put some hot glue on the bottom. You can also put the poster board glue on if you want to. Um, I think this caulk is going to help help it stick too, so I'm not going to worry about that for mine. And then just position your house where you want it on your little board. Okay, now we're finally to the fun part where we can decorate. So. If you watched my previous video, I made some candies. Uh, we made little candy canes and licorice and then Red Hots. So I have all of those that I'm gonna use. I also have these little lollipops that I might use. Um, these are from Hobby Lobby in the ornament section. I have these big peppermint beads that I got at Hobby Lobby last year and then I have these little peppermints that I got this year at Hobby Lobby and then I also have some little gingerbread um, ornaments and then I have some of these little cookie gingerbread cookie ornaments that I might use and then I have gumdrops that I got from Hobby Lobby too. So those are all of the possible things I'm going to decorate with. I'm going to start out with doing some piping with my lightweight spackling. So my spackling is nice and white. Uh, if yours is gray, add some white acrylic paint to it. Make sure it's a consistency of like whipped cream. So for this, I'm going to be using some mini piping tips, and you may have seen me use these in some other videos, but it's a whole little set um, that I got on Amazon, and I'll leave a link for you. I'm going to start out with this little, it's just like a little circle, um, and do some details on the roof, and then I'm going to switch to a different tip. So I'm just going to Mark my bag where I want to cut it. And then cut off that little piece. And push the tip through and fill my bag up. So for this roof, I'm going to do what looks like tiles. So there are a couple options. You could do like crisscrosses like this, like a checkerboard, or... Um, the one I was thinking to do is kind of like a fish scale design. So I've never done this before, so we'll see what happens. So basically just like that.
So then the next row I staggered. Okay, now we'll do the other side. You guys, I am not a great piping expert, so. <laughs> if you're a cake decorator and you're watching me do this, you probably wanna scream. So now I think I'm gonna do some red hots in some of these little spots here. Now I'm not going to do them at the top because I'm actually going to pipe some more stuff up there and put some different candies. So and I'll have the link for these the video for the candies if you haven't seen it yet. I'll put that in the description so you can find it easily. I'm also not going to put it right at the edge here because I'm going to pipe there too. I'm going to go ahead and get my other piping bag ready with my other tip. So for this one, I'm going to use this closed star. It is K68 from my set. So I'm going to start out by piping across the top here where the two pieces of the roof meet. You guys, no joke, every time I record, there's something. We have a woodpecker pecking on our house right now, so I'm so sorry if you can hear that. It's either the wind or rain or melting snow, something is always making some noise. So I'm gonna take my little gumdrop mini ornaments that I got from Hobby Lobby, and I'm just gonna cut the tops off of them, The strings not the tops i'm just going to put some of these across the whole top of this line here that i just piped on and then i'm also going to pipe like that same pattern along the edges of the roof Actually, I think I'm going to pipe that same thing along the little um, right here, too. That'll hide the seams there, and it will look cute. Oh, it's starting to look so cute. Okay, so let's do some windows and a door. So for the windows and the door, I think I'm going to paint on the color and then I'm going to pipe around it. So I think I'll do green for the windows. Now you don't have to do this. You can just pipe something on there or whatever you want to do. But so I'm using new shamrock from Apple Barrel for this color. So I'm just going to draw the rough outline of the windows and then I'll just fill it in with a bigger brush. I'm going to use True Red from Anita's for the doors. Okay, so I recorded myself making this whole gingerbread house and it cut off 
when I was painting the door. So we're gonna start off from there and do the back side. So I'm gonna use a small brush and just paint on the door shape and then I can fill it in with a bigger brush. So now I wanna outline my doorway with uh, my spackle. So I'm gonna use this little piping tip I'm going to use the same piping tip that I used for the details on the roof on the sides. And then I'm going to use this little bow I made. Um, I made this out of hot glue with a silicone mold. I just put the hot glue, colored hot glue, into the silicone mold and let it cool off. And then it just pops right out. So I'm going to do like I did with all the other elements with this one I'm going to use my foam adhesive and my hot glue together just to make sure that it sticks and that I can let go of it right away. And then I'm going to uh, use the fake candy canes that I made in the video before this one. Um, and I'm just going to put those next to the door. Doing the same thing, the foam glue and the hot glue. And then I also have these um, little hearts. They are actually buttons that I got at Hobby Lobby. So I just cut off. The little loop on the back so that I can get it to lay flat on my house. Oh, I also forgot to say, so for the windows, I just did the same thing as the doors. Um, I just painted it on and then I outlined it with my spackle. This kit did come with Cut out so you could actually cut the windows out if you wanted so I just wanted to mention that that's how I did those since I didn't get to show it because it got cut off in the other segment and then the last thing I'm going to do is I have these little fake or these little gingerbread cookie ornaments so I'm going to use that as my stepping stone and I did the same on the other side so on the other side, I was able to put two because I put it further back because that was supposed to be the front of the house. So this one will only fit one, but that's okay. And I'm just going to hot glue this on because there's no foam clay involved. That's your little gingerbread house. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've loved this gingerbread house tutorial. And I can't wait to see the gingerbread houses that you guys make. You guys are so creative and it's so fun to see what you do.